Welcome back to a brand new video, you guys. My name is Timmy the Toy Time King, and I got a different video for you guys today. And basically, I wanted to go over like just like something so you guys know like some stuff about me, basically. And I decided, like, ah, uh, let me just do a video telling you guys my favorite Pokemon of each type because why not, you know, sharing like my opinions with you guys is something that I always like to do. And I hope you guys enjoy this video because, like, you know. Like, there's a reason why I picked one of these 18 Pokemon as one of my favorite Pokemon of each of these types. So, yeah, if you guys do enjoy this video, leave a like down below and uh, subscribe to the channel if you're interested in more content. Because there'll be more videos coming out like this and they'll be of really, really high quality. But, anyways, let's get on to today's video. And if you're wondering why there's a black screen, it's because I don't want you guys to see uh, it yet until I say so. In three, two, one and voila we have uh the favorite pokemon of each type and if you're asking how i basically got this type of format the link will be down below if you guys want to do it as well but yeah we're going to start off with grass because that's the first one that i had to import and superior has to be my favorite grass type when i was looking at the list i was just like uh all these pokemon are like all right and then superior hits me i was like yeah superior is like my favorite universe style uh, and like superior is just a really really solid mon so very good and competitive as well like the reason why i cho chose one of these pokemon isn't because of like competitive viability or whatnot it's like just general stuff like that could have come from anywhere like design competitiveness and you know just how much i like the mon and i really like superior a lot like it's just a really cool mon and it always helped me out on my universe journey in black and white like this like sure it was the worst started to pick in black and white because how many gem gems beat it yeah but like superior is still a solid mon in my opinion and i just love its design as well and like i was gonna say Tulterra was gonna come close what superior is just better than Tulterra in my opinion Anyways, we're going to move on to Fire and Typhlosion. Oh, God. Typhlosion is my favorite starter of all time and my favorite Fire type of all time. Obviously, I had to choose Typhlosion as my favorite Fire type. Like, Typhlosion Cyndaquil was my first ever starter that went out in the Pokemon game. Just going back in history here, I first played Pokemon Emerald, stole it from my friend, and gave it back to him when I was finished with it. Then I didn't own a Pokemon game until Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I was like, ah, oh, Typhlosion. Let me pick Cyndaquil because Cyndaquil looked uh, the best out of all of them. And Typhlosion was just a solid one in general, man. I just love this one so much, man. The eruption spam for days. And you know how happy I was when it came to PU and then it got banned in the day. And I was like, oh, I really wanted to use my like second favorite Pokemon of all time in my favorite tier at the moment. But, you know... Overall, Typhlosion is just a really cool one, and I like it so much. It should it should have a mega and like uh, uh overrated fire starter from the previous gen, but you know I won't get into that. That will be for another video. <laughs> Anyways, moving on to water. Favorite water type has to be Kingler, and obviously you guys are probably thinking, ah, oh, Pu Kingler. Uh, this one's just solid in general, but nah, it's not as uh shallow as you think it is, man. Kingler goes back to my heart gold soul silver days where. Was the first Pokemon I got to level 100 and I always remember when I used to run guillotine on this and and I and I do not lie to you guys I do not miss guillotine at all I'm not I'm not lying out all the times I use guillotine I did not miss and it's not my memory my memory is very very good and I remember using guillotine like how many times and it never missed might have missed once but that was the only time when I remember it missing and it was just such a solid one in my adventure because yeah, I just like its design. Like a big claw, small claw, a crab. What what else is there? The simplicity of its design just makes it really, really cool. And it's and it's not a weak mon. 130 attack is solid mon. And guillotine spam for days back in the old days, and it never missed. So yeah, that's my favorite water type. Moving on to Zangus over here, and I was like, as my favorite normal type. Uh, normal was a pretty hard one for me to choose. Not gonna lie, because like. Not a lot of normal types actually impact me in general, like previous three have, but like due to my current experiences and recent experiences, Zangus has been there and it's just a good mon. It's because of PE. Like, this is probably the only one that comes down to like competitive viability in some uh, cases because like I play PU and Zangus is a solid mon in PU and this thing has never really let me down like once at all. You know, it does a lot of damage, it does what it does, it does its job really, really well. Really good speed tier. Uh, interesting and unique ability in Toxic Boost. And Facade Spam is just really, really strong. And you're denting a lot of Pokemon. And yeah, that's why Zangus is currently my favorite normal type right now. 
Moving on to Electric here, guys. We got Zeb Striker now. Electric was also a hard one for me because, uh, yeah, Electric in general, like, I always have negative stuff to say about Electric types, whether it's that physical Electric types suck and wild charges to shit is moving the game. But, you know, some positives here. Zeb Striker has a really, really good design. Like, Zeb Striker's design is just really, really solid. And also, like, back in black and white days, I actually used to like this thing, like, before I started thinking about competitive viability and how shit it was. But Zeb Striker was a really solid one, like, always wanted to catch it, so I caught a blitz all and evolved into Zeb Striker and never really let me down in my playthrough as well. Always dealing out a decent amount of damage and a really good speed there as well. And, yeah, it's a solid one in the playthrough, but unfortunately in competitive, it's not that good, but... Yeah, that's why it's my favorite electric type. Moving on to Psychic. And you might see Lugia twice here. Uh, I'll explain that now. And you might see Flag on here twice, and I'll explain that now. Uh, well, Lugia is my favorite legendary of all time. And the Psychic type and Flying type. And no Flying type on this list had enough to step up to Lugia. So I put Psychic and Flying both for Lugia because it's just an amazing one. And I, and I said Heart God is so silver, guys. Wanna guess which one I got? So Silver, obviously. Because Lugia is so much better than Ho in my opinion. So much better design. So much better, like... I'm not going to say it's better in uh, competitive viability because they're both in Ubers, but they're both really solid mons. But I just like Lugia a bit more just because his design is just so sick. It looks like a dragon, like... And I like dragon, reptilian looking like creatures. And, like, Lugia is just sick, like... Don't let no one tell you that Lugia isn't boss, because Lugia is boss. And yeah, I'm not going to lie, in the Soul Silver, I use it as a HM slave. I still have it on my Aura game. I didn't transfer a lot of my mons to my Gen 7. But yeah, my old Lugia from Soul Silver days is on my Aura. And I saw how much I used it as a HM slave. It had like dive, it had surf, dive from Gen 5, surf from like Gen 4, and then like fly. And I was like, oh God, I fucked up with the move set. But yeah, I used that as a HM slave, which really, I really did Lugia dirty, didn't I? But still my favorite mon, uh, psychic and flying mon, because it's just so sick. Moving on to fighting, we've got Swark. And this is probably an unorthodox choice for favorite fighting type, because you have really cool fighting types like Breloom, Terracon, Keldeo. The list continues, but I had to choose Swark. Like, Swark, in my opinion, is so good. Like, his design is really solid. I like that blue. And he's wearing clothes. Like, it's a unique Pokemon. It's a humanoid Pokemon wearing, like, a black belt and, like, karate clothes. And I'm like, wow. The Game Freak really went all right out on this one, didn't it? And, like, Sork is better than Fro. Like, that's undeniable. Like, Sork is just so much cooler. Like, it's karate guy. Like, it reminds me of, like, karate man and, like, other karate-based things. I'm like, Sork is just really, really solid mon. High attack, decent speed, interesting abilities in Mold Breaker and Steady. Com on the competitive side, I've used the thing in NU and this never let me down. Like, it might be in Borderline 4, but this thing has never let me down. So, yeah, Sork is my favorite fight fighting time. Moving on to Rock, we've got Gigalith. And Gigalith, I have to say, is the best looking Rock type I've ever seen in my life. Like, Gigalith is so solid. And when it got buffed in Gen 7 with Sandstream, I was so happy because this thing is so underrated. Like, its design rise is so cool. And moving on to its shiny. Like, I was going to mention uh, shiny Zorak for uh, elsewhere. But if we, ha we have to look at shiny Gigalov. This is the best shiny of all time. Like, oh my god. It's just amazing. Like, freaking hell, the green. Like, green is my favorite color of all time. But, oh, that's, oh, mixing it. Oh, I can't explain it. Like, so good. So good. So good. Really, so good. Uh, that's why Giggle is my favorite rock type. Moving on to favorite ground type and dragon type because they're both the same one. We have Flygon. And if you guys didn't know, Flygon is my favorite Pokemon of all time. So obviously, I had to choose it for favorite dragon and favorite ground type. Like, I don't know when I actually started liking Flygon and why I started liking Flygon. Like, it's just lost in the eons. But I really love Flygon. Maybe it was because of Jirachi Wishmaker. It was actually doing something there. And I was just like, oh, that's actually pretty cool. But you, you're probably saying, ah, there was Flygon and Salamence in that movie. How come you didn't like Salamence over Flygon? I was just like, green, that's it, green. <laughs> My favourite colour is green. So, obviously, kid me at the time. I obviously had to really like Flygon because it's green. It's a dragon type. And it's just a really solid mon as well. And, yeah, it finally got Dragon Dance. It got the love it finally deserved in Gen 7. And guess what? It's still a really solid mon in RU. And I really 
like Flygon. Like, nothing can explain the love I have for Flygon because it's just a really cool mod. Like, Flygon has influenced me. Like, you guys don't want to know the name of my old channel, but it had something to do with Flygon. And yeah. So, we've done flying and bug. Favorite bug type has to be Scolipede. Now, this is down to like competitive like play and Scolipede with speed boost is pro is really really strong and it's a uh, really strong monster when you set up a sword stance and you have speed boost. Because it gets Mega Horn, one of the bug types I actually get Mega Horn. Still, still salty that Pinsa doesn't get Mega Horn, but that's not to topic of today's video. Scolipede has access to really it has access to strong Mega Horn and Poison Jab and plus two and how many speed boost it has nothing can beat it it might have 100 attack but anything at plus two is meant to do lots of damage and like scolipede has the coverage and the uh, uh base power to actually work so that's why scolipede is my favorite bug type moving on to poison type i didn't want to choose uh scolipede as my favorite poison type because we have to give another uh another pokemon a chance and needle king had to choose needle king like Oh god, when I say this thing does damage, it does damage. A special set with life orb, sheer force, does so much damage. And it only has 85 special attack. Imagine this thing had 100. Like, this thing wouldn't be UU. It would be OU. Like, it'll try and be OU. Maybe borderline. Like, uh, OU borderline. Like, seriously. 85 attack and he's doing that much damage to a lot of Pokemon. It's unbelievable. It's really, really unbelievable. And, like, I'm just thinking Needle King actually had the better special attack over attack. Oh god. It would be in for mayhem and catastrophe. So that's why Needle King is my favorite poison type. Moving on to a favorite dark type. Like this one again was pretty difficult, but I had to choose Zorak just based on design. Like Zorak is a sick Pokemon. And again, if you guys didn't see like the shiny Zorak that I had before I did Shiny Gigalith, like here it is. Uh shiny Zorak. Look at that color. Like that purple really works well, and like purples are a really solid color. And if you mix it with a Pokemon like this, which is based on like darkness and the fox trickery, like it just really works. The color really complements uh, Zorak in general, and like solid mon as well. And illusion, probably one of the most unique abilities in the game. And the reason why Team Preview was introduced in Gen Five was because of this influential motherfucker right here. So that's why Zorak is my favorite dark type. We know to my favorite ghost type now. Ghost type is in less of abundance than the other typings, but I had to choose Haunter just because of again my olden days with Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Like, uh, it might. This is a sad story, probably a sad story, but yeah, I caught Ghastly evolved it into a Haunter, and obviously I had no. Not gonna say I didn't have friends, but they have friends that played a lot of Pokemon, and like no one really had a DS or some sort back uh in my like younger days in school, so. Yeah, I had no Pokemon. I had no Pokemon friends to trade my Haunter with to evolve into Gengar. So I just used this thing as a Haunter throughout his entire lifetime, and like never let me down. And like when I saw Gengar, I really wanted it, and it just made me sad that I could never actually get it. And like obviously, I stuck with Haunter, and Haunter never let me down in battles. It, it has really good 115 base special attack, so it's always dishing out damage and good speed to 95. But again, I wish I had Haunter to this. I wish I had Gengar to this day, but Haunter never let me down, so that's why it's my favorite ghost type. Moving on to my favorite ice type, we have Cloyster. And Cloyster, throughout the ages, has always been a solid mon. And especially when it gets to Shell Smash, which is my favorite setup move in the game, where you get plus uh, two attack, plus two special attack, and plus two speed. And Cloyster with skill link, this thing does a lot of damage. And just because of the days of Auras RU, when I used to spam this thing all the time, and it, and it always used to get how many sweeps? And I mean how many sweeps? Like, Cloyster is such a solid mod. So that's why it's my favourite ice type. Moving on to my favourite steel type. Another unorthodox pick, in my opinion, for, like, most people's Kling Clang. Like, don't underestimate Kling Clang. It gets shift gear. Like, shift gear, again, a really solid set of move where you get plus two speed and plus one attack. If it was both, then, oh, I think it would be a bit broken. But, yeah, Kling Clang... Solid design, like a lot of people hate on Gen 5 designs, like let's say Giglis design and Kling Klang's design, but I honestly think Kling Klang's design is really cool. And when people are trying to compare it to the Magnezone line, uh, Magnezone Magnemite, I'm just like, shut the fuck up, bitch, because this thing looks better than all of them. And pure steel typing, you never see that, so it's a unique Pokemon with a really cool design. And like, I'm not gonna let anyone diss Kling Klang in my presence because Kling Klang is a solid mon. 
And finally, my favorite fairy type is has to be Tapu Koko because like fairy type again, like normal, hasn't really impacted me in any way. But the one that has influenced me the most to actually think about fairy type is Tapu Koko. Like this thing is a beast in OU Mesa game. The ability to summon electric terrain on switching and having 130 speed and solid 115 attack and 95 special attack. This thing's electric moves do a lot of damage. And one of the things uses is wild charge. It makes wild charge look like a good move. I'm not going to lie. The amount of damage it dishes out is undeniable. And that's why it's my favorite fairy type. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you guys want me to do like my least favorite Pokemon of each type, yeah, just uh, comment down below and I'll actually do that because, God damn, there's a lot of Pokemon that I would like to roast. You know how I like roasting Pokemon, guys. But yeah, link to Twitter is in the description so you guys can know like what's going on with the channel and whatnot. And again, thank you guys for watching so much and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in more content. But without further ado, see you guys later. Peace.